Hello, today I'm going to show you <coughs> how can you inactivate and delete task and what we, uh, should you take care of when you are doing this. So for this purpose, I created a very simple schedule. Four tasks. Task A has one day duration, task B two days, three days task C and four days task D. And I make a simple schedule with finish to start duration. Now let's say that for some reason you don't need task B. So you want to make it inactive. For that purpose, I will choose this task. I will go to task tab, okay? And I will hit here inactive. Be aware that this task number B is now great and the task C goes to start as ta sta uh, task number B was supposed to start it. So once again, let me do it the same thing with task C. If I want to in, uh, make inactive task C and task B was supposed to start uh, at 22nd of March, in a, if I make task C inactive, okay, then task number D, ta task D with name D will start immediately when task C, task C was supposed to start. So at the same time, once again, let me, okay. So in that per, in, uh, when everything was normal, task D was supposed to start at 29th of March and task C at 24th of March. When I make it inactive, you will see that task B will, will start when task C was supposed to start. But this is not enough. The schedule is not reestablished by Microsoft Project automatically. So let's say that you want to make task C inactive, but you want to, uh, to make task D to have a predecessor task B. For that purpose, I suggest then when you have, let's, let me add some other task, A and F. And I will put here, for example, five days and let's say three days, who cares? And I will make task C, which I want to deactivate as a predecessor. So let's say to start, start, and let's say to finish, finish. So you can see the task E, task F, and task, um, task, uh, task E and uh, F, they have uh, both task two as a predecessor and also task three. If I want to deactivate task number two, we, when I deactivate them, so everything will be moved. I don't want to do that. First of all, what I want to do is once again, inactive, you will see that this task will be moved and this task is also finished to finish with, with task number two. But let's say that I want to inactive task number two, task number uh, two, which is task B, but I want to replace uh, all predecessors with task number one. So for that purpose, the best way before inactive task, the inactive ta task is go to predecessors field, hit here on this error and deactivate select all and choose every single task which has two in it. So every single tasks which have predecessor task number two, and I will say, okay, here. Now I will erase those predecessors and I will make, after I deactivate the filter, I will make, I will select all, I will make task B as an orphan and I will also erase predecessor for task number B and I can uh, uh, name B and I can say now that task C has task A as a predecessor task A have A as predecessor with start to start and task F has A as predecessor as finish to finish. Now, since my task B is orphan, I can inact make it inactive. 
also I can do the same thing before let me show you I will now put both those tasks again as a predecessor so let me let me let me show you one two three let me show you I will put to start start okay and to finish finish okay now I can do if I know that each task with which has predecessor two should have the predecessor number one uh, task uh, with ID one I can go here and I will again change those filters to choose all tasks which has predecessor task number two and I will say one one start start one finish finish and I know exactly what I'm doing now I'm going to deactivate filter and I will now have all task number B with the predecessor number one which I'm going to erase and now I can put uh, make it inactive this is the one way to do sometimes you will want to erase the tasks let me show you that in my next example let's say for example that I don't want to task B anymore so I want to not enact in make him in make that task inactive but I want to erase it I have a initial schedule and I want to erase task B what is very simple I will choose task B and I will hit on delete button now be aware when you delete when you delete a task all tasks which has predecessor for task number B will be erased not task but those predecessors so once again I had here let's say task E and task F and let's say five days three days and let's say I have task B which is to start to start and to finish finish I'm going to erase taste task number uh, number two which is task B I am selecting it I will hit delete and you will see that every single tasks task which had predecessor task number two was broken so the predecessor were broken so what you should do you should now re-establish the path so let's say I can put here one one start start one finish finish or I can do one thing which is much more convenient I will first do the same thing which I did in my previous example I will now know I now know that I should erase task number two so I'm going to choose each and every task which has task two as predecessor okay and I'm going to say let's say one one finish finish one uh, sorry it was starts one start start one finish finish and now I'm going to show my all tasks together now I have task B and I can of course go here and erase my tasks and I will have my schedule re-established so be aware before you erase a task be aware that all tasks in the schedule which had predecessor to uh, 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 to the task which has to be deleted all those predecessor will be erased so you will have a, if you have a large task list you will have a hard work before you establish a schedule again so my best uh, my best advice is before you hit delete button okay once again here I am going to deselect filter once again before deleting task B be aware that you should have established you should establish re-establish schedule and after you establish a re-establish schedule 
erase that task. So once again, let me do it manually. I want the task uh, C has one and here one start start one finish finish now i have my schedule established and i can freely and easily raise task b so that is my best advice what you can do when you are going to inactive or erase a task i hope that that helps thank you very much